Sir, there is something personal that's affecting you. Your son, while there's no ties to you, could be charged by your Department of Justice. How will that impact your presidency? First of all, my son's done nothing wrong. I trust him. I have faith in him. And it impacts my presidency by making me feel proud of him. Joe Biden says his son Hunter has done nothing wrong. He's proud of him as prosecutors close in on a possible indictment of the president's son after a four-year investigation into his tax and gun violations. Here to react, New York Post columnist, author, and Fox News contributor, Miranda Devine. Miranda, thanks for being here. This is the default setting of Joe, I think, at this point. It's, I don't know anything about his business dealings, and I'm proud of him. Uh, should we, exp and, and then you look at what the reporter said, it has no connections to you. I mean, it's all so rigged <laughs> and not uh, befitting the situation they're in. What do you make of his, this response in this most recent interview? Well, it's obviously rehearsed, and the plan for Joe Biden is to uh, just remove himself entirely from the influence peddling operation um, that he was involved in with his son, Hunter, and his brother, Jim, uh, pretend that it has nothing to do with him mm -hmm. and that Hunter is just being persecuted in a political witch hunt. And um, I think, you know, that's probably the only way he can go, considering he's lied about his involvement uh, since before the 2020 election. And uh, it, it will work for him um, with those Americans, and there are still many of them, who believe that Joe Biden, that his only sin is that uh, he loves his son too mm -hmm. much. Uh, you know, that mythology of Joe Biden that's been around for more than four decades, which is that he's a lovely family man, moderate, moderate Democrat, um, lunch pal Joe, working class Joe, the poorest man in Congress, and a wonderful family man full of empathy because of the tragedies in his own life. That's what he's playing on. And I think the end game is that he's setting up, um, you know, framing this sympathy card so that uh, when it comes time, perhaps in his lamb duck period, um, that he will pardon Hunter and, and Americans will forgive him because they will say, well, poor Hunter was a drug addict and, look, Joe just loves his family and he's been through enough tragedy in his life. Leave him alone. Hmm. So draw it out as long as possible, ultimately knowing that a pardon is something he could use at the end of this term or... Uh, down down the line. That's that's really interesting. But the Hunter Biden team maybe sees a little bit differently, Miranda, because Axios is reporting that there's a clash between Hunter Biden's legal team and the White House. Uh, Hunter wants to go on the offense. The White House wants it to go away. Here's a portion of what the article says. Uh, top aides to Joe Biden have clashed with Hunter Biden's team over strategies for dealing with the legal battles and Republican attacks that surround the president's sub. The tensions led Hunter, without involving the president's top aides, to hire prominent lawyer Abe Lowell in December as part of a plan to take a more combative approach than the White House and Hunter's previous lawyers had taken. Um, does it surprise you Hunter wants to go on the offense here? No. Uh, look, I think from Hunter's point of view, he feels he's done nothing wrong. Uh, remember, um, in his laptop, he says he gave half, uh, had to give half his money to his father, that he was basically acting as the bag man for the operation. Um, so uh, he, he just wants to save himself. And he has a Kevin Morris is a Hollywood attorney who he's become friendly with, who uh, Hunter's former associates call um, Kevin Morris Hunter's sugar brother because he paid off his $2.8 million of IRS back taxes and uh, was paying for his $20,000 rent in Malibu. Um, and so I think Kevin Morris is uh, encouraging Hunter to save himself. He's being an advocate for Hunter and not worrying about what's good for Joe Biden and the White House. And, of course, the White House's entire imperative is to protect Joe yeah. Biden. Uh, conflicting priorities, for sure, within one family, all with a pardon looming over the top of it, should they want to use it. Miranda Devine, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Pete. All right. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.